Hey guys, got my 96 two-door Tahoe 4x4 back behind me. Um, going to full transmission because I got a, I broke, big dumbass, I broke the uh, tail shaft housing because I forgot to put the clips on the U-joints when I replaced them in the drive shaft. And so it threw it and jacked the transmission and transfer case at an angle and broke the rear tail housing but anyway um i did the lift it's a six inch skyjacker not skyjacker it's a six inch uh rough country and which by the way when i measured the brackets really without changing your um cvs the angle on them from stock it'll only do it five and a quarter inches maybe five and a half but uh anyway um, I've got it at about four inches right now. Um, but I never did change the exhaust because you got to reroute it so that your drive shaft doesn't run into it. Um, so since we're pulling the transmission, the exhaust is in the way anyway, and I think I got a pretty easy solution. So let me show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> I hate those wheels, by the way. Uh, I want to change them to some like method or something like that. Maybe some bronze color. But anyway, uh, we're going to make a cut there. And then make a cut right there. And I think what that should allow us to do then is rotate this down to where it comes under where the drive shaft would go. And then we'll just need to weld a straight pipe to bridge the gap here. And then maybe leave that. Um, I may just try and weld it, butt it together and weld it. But I think that should work out pretty easy. And basically the idea, you know, it was like this, to so just rotate it down to where it'll go around, and then span that gap there with a straight pipe, weld that over there. So here I got a pipe, and I'll measure that exhaust pipe that it just slipped over it. And just to kind of give you an idea of the idea here. Obviously that's, you know, I just got it hanging there. It's not lined up, but then, and then this is a little lower than it would be, but uh, it gives you the general idea. I'll take this down and measure it to let y'all know what the inside and outside diameter is.
so looks like the outside diameter so it looks like the outside diameter of the stock pipe is right at two and what is that, 13 sixteenths and this pipe we got which actually I think came off my son's Miata is right at two inches Inside diameter, uh, the pipe is about a sixteenth thick, so an eighth off of that, and it's about the same, sixteenth thick. Anyway, should work out pretty good. Catch you guys later.